CEOs, civic leaders, entertainers, and entrepreneurs, they all have something in common, the drive, vision, and heart to achieve success. Steve Klein is a renowned business consultant, author, and host of Playmakers Talk Show. Each week, he introduces you to fascinating personalities who will inspire, educate, and motivate you to persevere and find your own success. And now, here's Steve Klein. Sophocles said, chance never helps those who do not help themselves. Welcome to Playmakers Talk Show. I'm Steve Klein. In the studio today are two guests who do help themselves. Our first playmaker served as chair of the Texas Society of CPAs. Well, our next Playmakers company has created the first ever platform that uses artificial intelligence for technical hiring needs. With us today is a managing director who has appeared as a featured commentator on all four DFW network TV stations. Well, our next chief marketing officer has had the honor of representing the U.S. as captain for the national cricket team. These great playmakers are James Smith, managing director of Smith, Jackson, Boyer, and Bovard CPAs, and Raul Kukredi, co-founder and chief marketing officer of M-Roads. And we'll begin today's show with Raul. As chief marketing officer for M-Roads, Raul Kukredi oversees the entire marketing and sales effort. Backed by 16 years of experience in various roles in sales and marketing, Raul is responsible for attracting new clients while retaining existing ones. M-Roads simplified hiring when they created a platform called Panya, which is the first ever interview platform that uses artificial intelligence for technical hiring needs. Formerly, Raul worked with HP, KPMG, and Nortel Networks leading organizational strategies, promoting operational effectiveness, and elevating team performances. He was instrumental in building strategic relationships and creating new revenue streams, just as he currently does at Emroads. Raul, welcome to Playmakers Talk Show. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate those kind words. Glad to have you here. Emroads is unique. Emroads is different. What was the inspiration behind you and your partners putting together Emroads? How did your path lead you to putting that together? Well, it's been a it's been an interesting ride for us. Uh, October nineteenth, we celebrate our fifth year anniversary. Well, happy and birthday! Thank you. And within these five years, we have shifted our direction three times, and we have still survived in such a competitive marketplace. Uh, if you right? shift directions, you probably made it even better. Uh, well, that's for you. You know, you to decide, or the listeners to decide. Uh, but coming back to M Roads, right? We wanted to build a mobile platform. M for mobile, crossroads. Crossroads is where you have traffic coming in from any of the four sides. We wanted to build a mobile platform where traffic could come from any of the sides and uh, you know um, use APIs and, and build upon it. Uh, unfortunately, you know we, we failed in doing so. Uh, but, uh, you know, along the way, uh, we stumbled upon uh, Panya. How did you stumble upon it? Because it's, it's, a, it's a platform. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, you know, it's been an interest. As I said, it's been a, a pretty interesting uh, journey for us. Uh, as we were failing to deliver a mobile platform with a set of services, we stumbled upon a few clients. They said, help us with our staff augmentation needs. Find us talent in the marketplace for a small startup right? that is on its way down. Getting an opportunity to survive was enough for us to jump into the water without realizing anything, you know, how the deep the water is, what, what the marketplace holds for us, being very naive. Uh, and once we jumped into the marketplace, once we jumped into the water, that's when we realized how deep the water is, what the challenges are, what the problems are. And that is what led, led us to build the platform that we have today. Well, let's talk, let's talk about what you actually do. Because you have three different modules, and you help companies basically filter through who they want to hire to get the right hire for, in many cases, a technical position. So talk about, let's say I want to hire a technical person. How would you help me, and what would, what would we do? So we have a module, uh, you know, especially catered for technical hiring. Uh, 
uh, in in that module on the fly without understanding the technology you could create interviews these interviews are dynamic in nature these interviews are artificial artificially intelligent and and based on these interviews you make the next round of screening decisions so you make sure the candidates that you are you know uh, interviewing in the next round of the interviews meets the minimum skill set required for you enabling you to save a lot of time uh, you know uh, for you and for your company because we all know that when people put together a resume or in many times interview what they're saying may not be exactly reality so how do you filter through that how do you find that out well that that's been a, that's been a problem and uh, you know that that problem leads to time to fill or cost per hire uh, matrix increasing in united states uh, one of the reason uh, simply being people misrepresent information and we do a keyword search on misrepresent piece of information so now what happens is we start the guessing game right if we are able to get the right candidate through a, through the guessing game in the first round of iteration okay that we presented the candidates to the hiring manager it's great but with every subsequent iteration you spending more time and you know time equates to money uh, and that's what we want to eliminate right how do you develop the questions that you're going to ask this candidate? So let's break it down into an area domain where we have understanding and domains where we do not have understanding. So where we have understanding, we have experts within the in-house that helps us, you know, come up with the questions. In addition to that, we use social media. For example, we reach out to people that are working in the industries in different roles. So subject matter experts that know this position. Exactly, the subject matter expert that know this position in-house as well as you know crowdsource mm -hmm. do let's say i'm the candidate uh -huh. i'm looking for the job right. now is this done over the internet yes so I could be anywhere. You could absolutely be and anywhere. And the client could be anywhere too. That's true. And there are two sides to it. One is the client side and one is the, you know, the job seeker side. We we offer services where job seeker could, you know, come onto our platform and improve the his or her skills in, in a domain where we offer interviews. So I'm I'm looking for a job, I yes. can come to you and you're gonna make me a better interviewee in terms of how I work with the interviewer. That that's true. And because what we do is we help you transform your educational knowledge into realistic knowledge and and that's the bridge we provide through our platform so you better prepare for the real world interviews absolutely right Steve I know a lot of uh, uh, companies don't don't hire people because they didn't interview well doesn't mean they're not good candidate but because they didn't interview well they didn't hire them but who are the who's your clients who who is who would be best served by using uh, Emeralds and Panya I think any any business that does volume hiring Right. If you look at Fortune 1000, Fortune 2000, those those companies do a lot of volume hiring and and in technology or outside of technology in sales, marketing, other functions. It does not matter. But Panya offers, as you said, three different modules that caters to different skill sets and, and gives different options for the clients to use it in a different way to, to reach different business outcomes. Well, I'm, like, I'm going to ask you about those three platforms in a moment, but I understand there's some key benefits. I saw this on your website, and the website is mroads.com. We're speaking with co-founder and chief marketing officer Raul Cochretti of Emroads, and some of the benefits are reduced cost per hire by 30 to 45 percent. That's a lot. Reducing new hire turnover by 20 to 30 percent. Reduce time to hire by 25 to 40 percent. That's amazing. So talk about the three modules you have and how they work based on who the client is and what they need. So let's let's say if client is a, a technology client and using uh, to want to use our platform for technology hiring, uh, they could either use what we have within our database, you know, create interviews through you know few clicks, uh, send out these artificially intelligent interviews, or completely come up with their own question set and input the data into the platform. Right. So the first module is very on 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 the fly. You create interviews and send out to the candidates. The second one is where you we provide you a platform and you put into do things as you want. Just build interviews as you feel like. Right. 
The third module that we offer is a live module, right? And in today's marketplace, you have Skype or you have Google Hangouts, a bi-directional interview. The question would be, why would a client pay for a similar bi-directional interview, right? We have a lot of features that does not exist in the marketplace today. That makes us very, very unique. For example, right? We empower people to ask questions on the fly to the candidates without understanding their technology and those questions get auto-evaluated by the platform letting you know the right or the wrong answer so you as an interviewee in this case right if if recruiters that are your first line of defense were to use this platform without understanding the technology you are empowering them to ask questions on the fly so that they can better screen the candidates if they can better screen the candidates they will provide the hiring manager with better subset of candidates and it all gets down to how can you provide the best subset of candidates that will maximize the hiring manager's probability of hiring in least amount of you know least number of iterations and that leads to you know your time to fill your cost per hire um, because in today's marketplace we use a guesswork right that's why you know we see our time being very high uh, you know in numbers for example in the united states um the average number of days to fill a position is about 56 days wow yeah almost two yeah. months exactly that's insane right cost per hire to hire one candidate it's up to $6500 that's mm. a lot of money to hire one candidate right but everything relates to how much time do you spend in hiring because that determines how much money you're spending overall in hiring the candidate well essentially you're identifying who that candidate needs to be and as I tell people you know, people talk about looking for a needle in a haystack it's easy to find that needle when you know what the needle looks like so you're sure. helping to find who that person is but a question for you is is who conducts the interview is it the the the, um, the company one of their people or is it one of your people no uh, it's a cloud-based solution and as a company, we provide them a username and path password. And from so it's, the, it's it's a one way conversation. There there are two modules that we offer is a one way con conversation. One live. And then where there is one live. So do you work with um, uh, recruiting firms to help them? We we do work with the recruiting firms, but you know, right now we are focusing on enterprise businesses uh, more than recruiting firms uh, to as we hit the market. Well, I understand that um, Panya has won some awards. What kind of awards has the, the platform won? Well, we we won an uh, award in uh, Mumbai, India. We were where we were awarded the best use of technology in HR. Uh, we won in Stevie Awards here in uh, California, uh, where uh, it was a People's Choice Award. Um, there have been other awards that we have won. Uh, we have been nominated for a few awards where we missed out. Uh, but overall, right, as we hit the marketplace uh, and as we showcase the solution to our clients, uh, we see that interest in them saying, wow, we didn't see this before. This is, you know, wow, this is something unique. Um, and that's that's an encouragement for us to just keep on working in the right direction so that, you know, we can make difference. Well, here's the real question for you. This is the most important question. Uh -huh. uh, you are the um, uh, captain of the national team representing the United States in cricket. How do you find time to to practice with all your work with Emeralds? Well, I have, uh, you know, right now I am not playing. I'm not a current uh, member of the United States team or, or uh, let them so uh, in a sabbatical tournament. sabbatical from, from uh, cricket. Well, yeah, I, I've already taken sabbatical from cricket, right? Uh, that was my first innings. Um, and uh, uh, it was a very uh, interesting journey for me because cricket, you know, just like any other sport, has taught me a lot of things that I, I take it into my a lot workplace. Of of business. Yes. Absolutely, you know, how to treat success very modestly, how to handle failures, how to make team work together to a collective outcome to uh, you know towards a common goal and you know you have five fingers you you know and all these five fingers are different and you have five people that you have to make sure they work towards uh, a common goal uh, and and it's same you know uh, what i learned in cricket or any other sports uh, you know if you equate it to you just put it in your work life and uh, that's what it is cricket only is is successful as a sport when the team works together 
And you're also helping the teams or companies by finding the right players to play for that company. That's true. Very good. So tell everyone one more time, if they want to find out more about Enrobes, and they should, where should they go? They should go to, they should visit our website, www.emroads.com. Raul, thank you very much for being a participant in Playmakers Talk Show. You are a playmaker. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate those kind words. Raul Cook-Reddy is the co-founder and chief marketing officer of Emroads.